My name is James Barry. I live on the edge of the South Downs with my partner, our beautiful daughter, and our equally handsome dog. If somebody had once told me I'd end up going to church, I would have thought they were seriously misguided. I didn't do religion. If I was to join a church, I would have to pretend that there was a certainty and simplicity in my beliefs that didn't exist. I realised religious groups gave great comfort to those with clearer and more definite views, but that wasn't me, so I didn't do religion. Not until I went to a friend's wedding. He was divorced, but I'd found a church that didn't make a song and dance over this. I found, to my amazement, the approach of this Unitarian church was refreshingly contemporary, yet it was 200 years old. They believed that not only did we all have the right to hold our own religious views, but it was important that we should come to these ourselves and they should not be determined by other people or even religions. Unitarian churches existed to support people in their journey of exploration and knowledge of ideas. It was not there to push a particular view of God, Jesus, the Bible, the Koran or our amazing universe. Challenge, inform and guide people, yes, but not to judge or determine views. In a Unitarian community, what was vital was that somebody was free to come to their own conclusions, however long this took. When I had least expected it, I had found a church sympathetic to my confusion. All Unitarians asked in return was the acceptance that other people would hold different views and this was to be respected. If that didn't sound much, in reality it was a level of love and tolerance that some mainstream churches found a very difficult issue, particularly with regard to gender and sexual orientation equality. I liked the fact it had manners. They didn't tell me what I should be thinking and, more importantly, what I should believe. It didn't say that it knew my mind better than me, even if it did. It did not believe its way was right and others were wrong. It did not believe it had all the answers. They were up to me to discover in the infinity of miracles that makes up this world. There were other aspects of this faith I found appealing. Unitarians seem to focus on our path in life and what we did with it, rather than what may or may not happen in the next world. It was the journey, not the destination. So I now do religion, maybe not in the sense most people understand, but it is one that works for me. So I thank my friend who got married. I thank the Unitarian Church that didn't judge his divorce status and gave me the opportunity to join. Now, 15 years later, I have managed to answer some of my questions and, of course, found new ones to ask, including wondering just how many other people are out there who did not know there was a church with such a radically different approach to religion.